Hey and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I want to talk about summer fashion. It's not, I don't know, is it summer yet? Is May summer? I never really know and to be honest I feel like it's not summer until the weather changes anyway, especially in like Ireland and the UK. But I'm looking out, it's sunny this weekend, it's a lovely long sunny bank holiday and I'm really excited to start wearing more of my summer pieces. So I thought Again, maybe it's not quite summer, maybe you're still getting your summer wardrobe ready. I thought now would be a good time to kind of chat through some of my favorite summer items to maybe inspire your wardrobe. So I'm talking about my top five pieces in my summer wardrobe that I would buy again and why I think they're so great. And I kind of was going to do 10, but I thought five is just a lot easier. It's a bit more easy to digest. If someone gives you like a list of 10 items, for your wardrobe, it's kind of like, oh, do I need them all? Like, I can't go out and buy 10 new items. But if um, I mention five, it might just be a little bit easier. Maybe you're only going to need a couple, or maybe you're not going to need any, but it's just going to inspire you to think about your own top five. So the first one I wanted to mention is this green, I think it's a viscose shirt. The tag is cut out of it. It was secondhand on Vinted, originally from Pull and Bear. Um, and it's just, it's just, it's kind of like, it feels like silk. And I just love this color. And I think that's what I love so much about this. A lot of my basic pieces like vest tops and jeans and trousers and everything like denim shorts, skirts, things like that. They're very basic and neutral colors for my summer wardrobe and for most of my wardrobes, let's be real. But I love that this just injects a pop of color into any outfit. So I like to wear this just thrown over as a jacket, pretty much how I'm wearing this um, black one at the minute. This is actually a silk shirt, but this kind of feels as good but actually it's so much easier to wash and take care of so it is a great piece for summer so I would look out for more viscose pieces than silk um, but silk does feel lovely this was second hand too but regardless I basically saw this on my friend I went to meet up with her I think it was oh, could have been two years ago now at this stage I'm not I'm not sure I can't remember how long it's been since I saw my friends but um she was wearing this and literally on my way home from seeing her on the drive home, I was like, I've already found it on Vinted. <laughs> it was it was a very good search, and I think I found it for like three or four pound. So I was very happy with this. It's, it is a small, but it's like an oversized fit. But I think that's what's so great about it as well. It's just I throw it over like a vest and trousers or a vest and jeans. Um, and it's just kind of like that extra layering piece to add a bit more interest to an outfit, but also when it's not quite as sunny or as warm as you want it to be, you need an extra layer, but it's too hot for, say, a cardigan or a blazer or anything like that. So I kind of wear it as a summer jacket. Um, and then some days I'll button it up and wear it with trousers as a shirt, but maybe more for like work and things like that when I want to look a little bit smarter. But I just love these more relaxed shirts. So for anyone who struggles to style like a real kind of stiff collared shirt, like feels a bit too preppy in it and a bit too stuffy, because I definitely do. Um, I love these kinds of shirts because they're just so soft and silky and you know the collar just sits differently and it just doesn't feel preppy at all to me it just feels very cool and casual the next thing is kind of two things but they're kind of the same um is a pair of like cream or white denim so i love my jeans all year round but in the summer months i kind of want to like brighten up my outfits and i also love an all white cream look around this time of year um, it just feels very fresh so I like to swap out my usual denims for a cream pair this is a cream kind of cropped wide leg and then this is a white straight leg pair but I just style them in the exact same way I'd style my blue or black denims but it just you know it feels brighter it feels different it feels a lot fresher now I do also wear these in winter because I, I love a winter white but I think they get a lot more wear this time of year um, and it's just nice to wear things like this especially when you kind of just want to wear lighter colors to stay cooler because you know when you wear black or darker colors they just really attract the heat which can be great when you're cold blooded like me but when i am kind of feeling the heat this is a great way to go the um I might as well mention the brands the cropped wide leg are from mango they were originally like a full length wide leg but much too long on me so i cropped them and then the white ones i found on depop i believe that's how long i've had them I haven't shot there in a while. I'm definitely a vintage um, convert, but these are originally from Bershka and I actually bought these twice. Bought them once and then I got a coffee stain on the knee that just wouldn't come out. So then I managed to refine them on Depop again. Same pair, same size, it was great. So I think whatever your preferred fit of denim is, 
um, go for that in a lighter color instead of, I mean, you can obviously dabble in different shapes, but it's just so much easier to style them when they're pretty much the exact same as my blue jeans, but just um, a different color basically. Okay, I feel like I'm a bit cheating on this one because I haven't really worn it yet, but I have wanted it for over a year. I've seen it on someone last summer, which is why I wanted it so badly. It's this cost dress that you might have seen on my Instagram. Um, and I'm, I, I kind of would love to wear it today. I need to check how hot it is outside, but it's just the most fabulous dress. It's a maxi. Well, it's pretty much ankle grazer actually. So it's kind of easy to style with flats, flat sandals, but it could equally look amazing with a heel. Um, just a little strappy dress. And um, what I kind of love about this one and what I know I'm gonna love about it is it's, it's really nice, delicate straps. So it's really kind of pretty and feminine, a little bit sexy on the shoulders area. Um, and then it's just like wearing a tent. So it's just really comfy. You can wear it out to dinner, eat what you want. You know, if you're just feeling bloated or whatever, it's just gonna be the most amazing dress. It would be perfect for a sun holiday, throw it on over a bikini and just dress it up with a chunky gold necklace and some strappy heels. I just think it's gonna be amazing. And I actually just can't wait to wear it. And I probably will try it on for today and then maybe go outside and test the waters a little bit. We'll see. <laughs> So if I haven't mentioned this one is from Koss. Um, it was a last year style. I think it was still online, but only in like one size. Um, but I found this on Vinted after looking for months. Okay, this might not seem like a very obvious summer wardrobe piece, but again, I live in the UK. It's not necessarily the warmest. I have this blazer that I got at a sample sale. Um, so I'm not sure it ever went into production. So it's kind of unbranded, um, but it, what is my point? It is a light color it, it, it makes things bright and kind of airy for summer. Um, and I've, since I've had this just the last couple of weeks, maybe, I don't know, a month or two, I've worn it so much. Um, it's basically gonna replace my black blazer at the moment. Love my black blazer so much. It is one I wear in summer. I'll throw it on over like t-shirt and jeans or cami and jeans, that kind of thing. But it's nice to just have that lighter item because I think this paired with like my white jeans or my cream jeans, just looks so nice and bright and I just love summer for those kinds of outfits um, when you know it's not going to rain or anything like that. I just think having a lighter colour, if blazers are your thing but you tend to maybe kind of veer more towards a black blazer or you know a check blazer, I feel like they can seem a little more wintry. Um, so it's nice to kind of inject a new colour. So again if you have a lighter coloured blazer, maybe you have a suit that you were to work Maybe you have a blazer you wear to work all the time, but you wouldn't necessarily think to dress it down at the weekends. One of my favorite outfits at the moment is this vest, this blazer and a pair of like wide leg jeans and some Converse. And I am absolutely loving that outfit. Um, and maybe I could wear that again if it's not warm enough for, um, for the other dress. But I just think it's a really nice way to wear blazers. Um, just wear it with a vest, really dress it down. Just a simple like ribbed vest or something or plain t-shirt, strappy, cami, whatever, dress it down and you'll find you actually get so much wear out of it. Okay, so we can't do summer without talking about footwear. Um, and I think this is probably my most worn pair of sandals. And I struggled for years before this to find sandals that I found comfortable that I could actually walk in because I hate things between my toes so I can't wear like flip flops. And most sandals like rub my feet just in all the wrong places. Um, and then I found these. These are just like a really simple kind of one strap across the foot, one you know strap at the ankle, laces around. But I think maybe because it's like wicker that it's just it just doesn't rub me. And to be honest, it is like kind of a a leathery finish on the inside, which is nice. Even the base of the shoe doesn't seem to bother me that it's textured. But I remember walking from I think like bow to hackney in these when I first got them and it was a really sunny day and it was quite a long walk as well maybe like 45 minutes to an hour there I'm back as well um and they they held up really good and I've worn them so much ever since I bring them out every single summer so I've probably had these four four summers now I think because of the neutral color as well they just go with everything and also just the like fabric and texture they just give a bit more of a summer vibe so even if I'm not wearing this most summery thing like could be like jeans and a t-shirt but with these I just feel a bit more summery it's kind of like the equivalent of adding a straw bag to an outfit 
add a straw shoe. These were originally ASOS. I found them in Oxfam um, when I got them, but I'm not sure if maybe ASOS have done similar again. They also just have a tiny bit of um, cushioning at the heel as well, which is nice because um, that probably does make them a little bit more comfortable. And the last clothing piece I wanted to mention is a pair of kind of high-waisted shorts. I have had, I have another pair like this as well, and I think, which are probably my more worn, more worn, most worn pair of the two, um, but it's kind of still buried away in my summer wardrobe and I couldn't get to it. But just something really simple like this. I find for people who maybe wear trousers more than like dresses and skirts, when it gets to summer, it's kind of like, oh, I'm not, I'm not automatically going to switch to like wearing dresses and skirts all the time, like short dresses and skirts. Um, so I found a pair of shorts was kind of like my obvious answer. Again, I'll wear this with something like this vest top and a shirt thrown over. And it's just like a really cute outfit um, with those sandals. All these pieces kind of make, ma ma can't speak today. All these pieces kind of mix and match together. Obviously apart from the dress. Dress and sandals goes together. Um, this and like the olive shirt would go really nicely together with a vest and those sandals. Um, this with a vest and my white jeans and the sandals. Like this kind of just like a little mini capsule in itself. Um, all you kind of need to style them is just like really basic vests and things like that. Um, but yeah, love these. These ones in particular are from Simple Retro. I think I have them two years now. Um, they were gifted to me. I did like a video with them. Yeah, it must have been about two years ago. So yeah, really love these. They're very high waisted. They're quite small in the waist. They're probably the tighter of my two pairs as well, which is maybe why I wear the other ones more. But also I've had the other ones longer. Um, but they're just, they're a nice kind of short. They're like a long pair of shorts, not like a little hot pants or anything like that. I kind of don't like anything tight on my thighs. I don't find it a very flattering fit for me. Um, I like that longer short. I just feel like it's a bit more chic. Um, so yeah, love these. These could equally dress up with like vest, like a, okay, let's stop saying vest up, a bodysuit, a blazer and a pair of heels. Could be a really fun like on holidays outfit or even kind of like down to the beer garden kind of outfit. So if you can dress these up, and I, I think that's what I like about them is they can be super casual or super dressy. They've also got loads of fabric in them, as you can see. So they're very hip flattering and they almost kind of add a bit of hips for me because I don't really have a lot going on in the hip department. These are kind of like an A-line short. So I really, really like that fit. This is just a little snippet. It's not like the be all and end all of my summer wardrobe, but I just thought these are some items you can consider um, adding to your wardrobe or pulling out of storage or whatever it is you need to do to get your summer capsule wardrobe sorted. Thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna post an old capsule, summer capsule wardrobe video here as well, just to give you a little bit more inspiration um, while I get my videos ready this year. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, cannot talk. If you haven't subscribed already, I'd really appreciate it if you do so, especially if you enjoy capsule wardrobe videos or just a little deep dive into people's wardrobes. I kind of open my wardrobe up here a lot. I'll talk to you all really soon in the next one. Bye.